In addition to really struggling with this issue of nipple confusion, Bracey had his first vaccines yesterday at a public hospital here in Barcelona. I brought him in. He had the following vaccines, which I talked about during week eight of this series. I'm gonna list them here. Diphtheria, Hep B, HIB, polio, tetanus, and pertussis or whipping cough. I brought him home and I wanna tell you guys a little bit about how the day went because in all likelihood you've dealt with this too or you will be dealing with this soon. He was fussy. He didn't wanna go in his crib. He seemed to be in pain. I'm not a big fan of giving a very young and tiny baby pain medication, but he was so fussy that I did go get the prescription for liquid paracetamol and I gave him one dose of 0.5 milliliters of the paracetamol, which is what was prescribed. At that point, he seemed a bit better, but he really didn't get a lot of sleep you know, during the day. The benefit was for me in the end that he did do a little bit better at night. All that being said, despite these little challenges, I am so in love with this little baby. I had my others so close in age and I love them so much too, but having had five and six and a half years, I feel like I was almost like blindsided by all the busyness and the stress and trying to nurse and change diapers and get kids out for walks and also just dealing with being a mom for the first time, that with this one, I'm really able to enjoy him. And I've talked about this before, how wonderful it is to have older siblings with a new baby in the house. My kids have been so helpful. Every time I need to take a shower, I need a break, even if I'm gonna give a bottle, I literally hand him off to one of my older kids. They're all competing over who can have him, who can hold him. If anything, it's hard to have him sleeping in the crib too much because all the kids are constantly wanting to hold him. But they're all just so sweet and so loving and so affectionate, and I feel like it's teaching them too about not just taking care of babies, but the beauty in life of taking care of other people generally. And I think it's a wonderful lesson, and it's been a big gift to our family. So if you're thinking about doing that, don't shy away from it because you think that you have to go through the baby stage just once because you might find that it's very different when you go through it the second time I have. And it's been such a blessing to me and really a very rejuvenating experience. And I'm treasuring every moment and savoring every moment because I'm, you know, pretty goddamn sure this is the last baby. But anyway, that's it for the Bracy update. Check back in next week. I'm going to fill you all in on where we are with Bracey's weight, how I'm doing with the nipple confusion. I'll talk about more things that you need to know when you're dealing with an 11-week-old baby. Thank you so much for coming to cloudmom.com, and I will see you next week. 